Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tutter Treasures. Hello, hope everybody's doing okay. So today I'm back with number 39 in the Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Dolls mask makes. And these are little cute faux um, envelopes, which are little journal uh, spots. So I've never made any of these. I'm assuming you can just pop them in a pocket you could stick that bit down and have it just on your page, like so. I suppose you could stick it down on just three sides <coughs> and have it that you could put something at the back and you could clip it over a page like so, have something in there and then I suppose you could decorate that bit because you still have that, that to, to write on. So. Are cute. Um, I'm using the Bow Bunny papers, so I'm going to do so many in those. I don't think I'm going to decorate them. I like them um, as they are, and then I'm going to do some blue ones, and then we'll perhaps uh, put something on the little flap. So all I've got out is some A4, and it's that uh, pre-aged paper from Amazon. Um, I'm guessing you can get it in all you know other places but i do have this on my amazon favorites list so i'm going to use it um lengthways i did think about doing it heightways and then i thought oh it's probably too much to fold up and it'll be too too bulky so i've just got my trimmer and i'm going to cut them to i think three sent a good um size so i might as well cut all those in one go hadn't i because it's only a simple simple project i don't know why i've not made these before i don't know if i thought i'm gonna keep that one as well um i don't know if i thought they was more complicated than they actually was um but yeah i've never made any and i think they're pretty uh useful things um because i've got a nice nice you know like list format uh, piece of paper so we'll just do all these at, at three and then i've got that one what's a bit smaller so i can put the trimmer away oh, let me just check that i'm nice in the middle yeah sorry if there's uh shadows it's a really um dark wet morning um, so I've got to have my light on and it's obviously cast um, some shadows. So what I'm going to do is just fold it in half a little bit and just pinch uh, the top bit. So I know that that's the centre and then I'm just going to, as if I'm making an aeroplane, <laughs> which I've not made one of them for a, a while, <laughs> at least since uh, Eleanor was, was little. Um, and then just fold it down that side okay why does that look not the same I think you have to fold it over just a little bit is that better yes that's better so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna stick these down um I don't think Tina did stick hers down so then you've got the whole piece of paper but um I'm fancying mine stuck down. So that's that. I'm thinking I might as well do all these in one grab, haven't I? So again, just fold it over, just pinch it in the middle like so, and then I'll bring one up to make sure it's, you know, like squared, squared up, and then that one just goes over it slightly and that gives it a more even feel and then we're going to glue this one down so I'm just popping a little bit on don't need loads it's just to keep it down so that's that one yep so only one more of um the mask mates to go in the um bow bunny paper and then I'm going to have um I don't know if I might have a month or so um, 
from doing them because I'm really wanting to catch up on all my botanicals and that because obviously I've got all those pieces made um, and I would like to get on and get some you know some journals and folios made and that kind of thing to get some used up so and because I'm doing the next mass makes in the botanical paper um, from is it craft consortium um, I'm not really wanting to make any more botanical pieces because it's like it's crazy <laughs> it's like why are you making more pieces uh, but I know well myself I enjoy watching people make ephemera more than uh, the actual journals so um, yeah I think most makers tend to make a lot more ephemera than than journals so, but I need to get caught up and get some um, some used up. So, yeah, we will be having... That's a bit... I've not met that in the corner, but it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we'll have a break. Definitely there won't be any um, for the rest of August. I think the, the last one will be the first week of August. So definitely we're not going to have any in August um, and we might not have any in September. So I'll, I'll just see and say I've just started to look at, um, I, I kind of, I don't plan it out video by video, but I kind of give myself a rough um, monthly uh, plan just really to keep me in line and keep me on track um, and I can you know see where I'm at um, with all the current kind of series and and things that that I'm doing so it's definitely a stop for a little bit and, and get some get some big things uh, made so You'll be sick of seeing me getting my... That's not met either, but that's fine. Um, you'll be sick of seeing me get me made ephemera out. You'll probably... When you first see me get it out, you'll be like, oh, oh yeah, I remember when she made that. Oh, yeah. And then it'll be like, oh, put that box away. We're sick of seeing it. <laughs> um, but what I have got, and I think it'll make it a bit more interesting, is in one of my... Um, <clears throat> not 12 by 12 box, the A4 boxes... I've got like loads of, oh I don't know, I think I've got some file folders folded in half, I've got some envelopes like started and all different things so I'm actually wanting to use my botanicals up and get through that box as well, I've got some covers that I've made and all kinds of things so I think that will make it a little bit more exciting, I can see that's a bit lopsided but I'm sure it's fine. So I'm going to bring that up and it's not a Pacific, um, you know, science. I've just brought that up and then I'm going to bring that up. Yeah, that's really one K. Okay. But y you can't tell. So just bring that up like that. I don't know if that's me folding or me cutting, but that's not actually wonky, so, so that's fine. <clears throat> I'm just going to use the bone folder just to, yep, to flatten it a bit. Oh, I hope they're all not wonky. So, I've, yeah, I can see it is. As soon as you like fold one up, you can see. So, just fold it, you know, like a third up and then... Just get the next one just under where you folded it. So you've got that little bit of a of a gap. And then we can fold that over. <laughs> it's so cute. And I'm hoping that um, these do keep down, that we don't need um, a clip on them or anything. But I think we're putting the scrapbook paper on that extra weight. It will keep it um, down. Yeah, I've not looked in that um, tub for, for a while, but it's full. So, 
and it's either ideas that I've seen and I've just sat and kind of just put some things together ready uh, to do or I don't know there's there's all kinds of stuff in there so we'll get that out and start using using some pieces up because um, I've used all the Edith Holden um, I've just got a couple of sets of the Tim Holtz um, left in my stash so I will be doing um, a couple of Tim Holtz don't do it that way that will just confuse you a couple of Tim Holtz um, projects might do another ring band journal <clears throat> with those Now, if you've got some paper, you know, just sticking out at the sides and that, you can just trim, trim that up. And that's that. Can air it absolutely throwing it down that side. It's needed it because it's been really uh, hot. I did say we was going to have some thunderstorms, so I don't know if... I don't know if I'm going to get some of those later, but um, yeah, it definitely needs it to cool, cool everywhere down. i say I've still got a few windows <coughs> open in the house because the house is still quite hot. I think it will take some, some cooling, cooling down. We'll probably be moaning tomorrow how cold we are. Oh, it's freezing. Right, so that's that. So how many have we got? Three, six, seven. So if I do another three in the um, floral, because like I say, I'm not going to um, decorate those. So all I did was got my envelope, glued that bit down and just stuck it, well, I did it that way, just stuck it on and cut, cut it round. So I'm just going around the edges, just a little bit in the middle, I don't need a lot, it's not, not a big piece. So I'm just trying to, where it folds, just try and get that right on, on the start of the paper. So that's that, let's do the next one, I think I might be able to just cut them, cut them all in one. I don't know if that will make it fiddly or not, but we shall see. So, let's get that on that. Can this one fit? Oh yeah, no fine. Excuse me, I'm filming this at um, a weekend, it's Ryan's weekend in um, Eleanor's here and her friends uh, stayed the night, they've just gone downstairs to have breakfast so if when they come upstairs you might hear some giggling and stuff, she'd probably be like oh what is my mum doing and I've kept the, the craft room door open because like I say, it still is quite um, airless in here. So I'm just going to cut down here just so it straightens it off a bit. I mean, it's going to be nothing like straight, is it? But, nah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's straighter than having those uh, chunky things out. So let's, I think if I just... Now I can do it with the smaller scissors. So just cut, cut round. Oh, I've cut it way too wide, haven't I? I forgot about that. What a ding dong! Oh well, waste of, waste of paper that, but oh well. But you know what I'm thinking is. <laughs> Could it? No, I think it'd be a bit silly. 
no i think it'd be a bit silly it's quite um a deep um v i was thinking that they could be little pockets i mean they could be little pockets but i'm not i'm not fancying them to be honest <laughs> if you want to make pockets from yours you can make pockets from yours but they kind of reminded me of the collar um pockets um what I do, did in one of the DD Farrago um, challenges and then like you put, well you flapped it over but they wonky anyway so I don't think we'll be making anything from those. And the last one and I'm going to just bone fold them <coughs> down again just to, to flatten them down. make sure that I just need to take a sliver of this top but being careful not to go go into the the fold so that's that one yeah I think they'll lay pretty good actually so I'm just going to give those a quick ink around and then <coughs> that's that, those ones done. I think I've already inked around that one. I'll just give it another one. So these ones I'm going to put in my um, Happy Mail folder um, to, to send because um, I'm not doing anything in florals. At the moment so I'm going to save the blue ones because they can go in with the with the blue bird things and that's another reason why I want to get on with the botanicals because obviously I've been you know making bits of um things for for doing a bird um thing um and I'll never get on to that if I don't don't get on <laughs> so that's those four I think they're so cute um so let's just get rid of um this this stuff right so let's get four across here so this time I'm gonna do them like that so I can see um, where it ends so I'm not wasting wasting paper because this is the last piece of the this blue one that I've got and I've really um, liked this one a nice um it's a nice pattern so that's that one and i would like to um make some more things for the oops, stop, stop doing that um yeah make some more thing things <laughs> things for the bird journals <laughs> projects because I don't know what exactly I'm making yet so bird projects I want to get four across here so if I stick the next one on the end it would give me a good gauge of, of how much room I've got so I'm going to put that right right up so I've not got that side to cut out and I've got enough room oh my goodness oh gosh can I slide that down no I can't yeah well I'm gonna get it in <laughs> it'll be really awkward to cut it but um, I'm getting it in so I'll be able to make quite a lot with with this paper what's left Okay, so I'm going to open all these so I can see. Yep. Okay, that one's fell off. <clears throat> so 
Okay, not so. Right, let me just part them. So, that's that. I'll just pop that to one side. I'll just get seated a little bit better. I was a bit... I don't know, I see, because I've now changed this filming thing, which I do think is a lot better view, I just feel that I now sit a little bit crooked, and I, it's because the computer is where my right elbow is, is kind of where my keyboard is, so that um, sticks out a little um, bit. So I just feel like, I mean, I haven't banged my elbow on it, but I'm very conscious that it's there. Um, so I, I always just feel a bit squadgy. But um, yeah, I'm preferring the view um, over this side a lot better. So I will persevere. And say, I know a few of you a few weeks ago said about the, the camera angle, but that was um, <clears throat> one that I'd filmed quite a few weeks before um, I'd changed my camera angle because I was like realizing that it, it wasn't a very good angle that, that I was at. But yeah, it seems as if you know, what's a good angle f for you to watch isn't a good angle for me to work in, kind of um, thing. So I've obviously moved my camera, you know, all, all over the place. But, um, yeah, I just need to make this this work because, um, yeah, when I look back at it, it does look loads better. I just need to stop thinking that I'm going to bang my elbow. <coughs> and to be honest, I sometimes just rest my elbow on, on that side and it's, uh, it's quite comfy. But yeah, I need to kind of get my chair in and like wiggle, wiggle into the space and then sit straight. But what I tend to do is put the camera on, sit straight down and then I'm at a funny angle instead of getting myself sat straight first. So I think in future when I turn it on, you might have a little few seconds of me just adjusting myself and getting, getting myself comfy. So yeah, I'll probably now start saying hi. Let me just get myself comfortable. Um, so yeah, and if I get into the <coughs> um, routine of doing that, then it will remind me to get myself comfortable. So that's all. All those done. I'm just going to give them <coughs> um, another little press down. And yeah, like I say, the weight of of that I think they won't go in probably under something just to just to get them to lie even flatter but um yeah I think that'll lay lay nice yeah I love that blue paper it's such a lovely blue so that's those I don't need the bone folder anymore um I've got some bits of decoration I'm just gonna have a bit of tea not gonna want the big scissors anymore so i've got my oh remember to get it out before um started filming so these are stamps don't think i want stamps on unless i've got a bird stamp shall we just have a quick look i have put my their normal stamps and these are like nature or botanical stamps have a quick look i think mainly mushrooms and and botanicals but if i actually oh it's bad there if i do find any birds i'm going to put them in my bird um a little folder oh a little squirrel there i love that to use that up in autumn it's a bunny also we've got some some nice little oh there's another bird there mushrooms some of these are you know just faux um stamps and then some of them are, <coughs> are real 
botanical mountains did I just see a bird then mushroom dropping more than I'm collecting oh dogs <laughs> They would have gone nice with them. Um, if you watched um, the folio that I did with the um, the Delta paper from uh, Chia Bella, um, that would have fitted in really nice with that. But obviously, I've got lots of that paper left, so I might save that duck one. Yeah, I don't think there's really any more, but. I have been meaning to go through here and have a look oh, if I have got any bird ones. Let's put those in there before I, before I drop them. Yeah, I've got lots for when I um, do my woodland. Oh, lovely stag there. Another bird. Oh, another bird. Lots of mushroom ones. I don't think I used any um, mushroom stamps last year when I did the woodland. I think I actually forgot that um, I'd got stamps. I think I, I used to use stamps a lot. Um, and then I think I just got fed up of them. Oh, there's two there, look. Um, and then I just think I've then forgot about them. And I think that's what happens, isn't it? We we overuse something. We get really fed up of seeing them. And, um, oh, that's a sticker. Um, yeah, we get sick of seeing them and stop using them. And, yeah, just totally forget about that. So that's that. And I know I've got some birds in these... Um, dies what um violet did for me so why i'm i hope you don't mind but i'm just thinking why i'm doing this i'm gonna put all the bird things um together because then when i'm embellishing bird things all i've got to do is get my um little bird folder out and again i just forget that that i've got them lots in here not done a bee um themed project this year I did one last year so i'm definitely going to be doing bees next year and i'm going to be doing daisies next year because um the lovely barbie at um nelly and ruth designs um, oh, she's done this beautiful, she's done it as a sewing journal for her friend. Um, and she's used the day, well, mainly the daisy kit from <coughs> my porch prints. And it's absolutely breathtaking. Um, and she's put lots of sewing em elements in it. And it's so pretty. Um, and yeah, every time I look at it, I think, oh. And I know I've got some of that daisy kit. I don't think I have the full, um, because I think um, Stephanie brought out bits of that kit. And then I think she did, like, a bundle. Um, so I know that I haven't got everything. Um, but I think to have everything, you need to buy the bundle. Um, so I need to have another, another look at it. Um, so yeah, I do want to do daisies next year. Look at me planning next year. But it's just really things that I wanted to, you know, thought thought about doing this year and just didn't didn't get round to it. So we know we've no birds in there. That's butterflies. That's birds. 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 Have I got a spare in one of these? I could do with having a spare 
come on i wonder now if those would go into there i think there's some more birds in there but i'm not i'm not gonna empty that out now <laughs> phew they say <laughs> everybody's like oh thank goodness for that because i'm fed up of this um so if i put those in there there's a lot of um like woodland animals in that one so i'll probably take those out another time and put them um gather all the my woodland things up but i find for me that's the only way i remember how to use things it's like once i'm doing a certain theme i like to go through everything and and then get get those things out so now we've created um an empty one okay so i need to lie down now so we've got all those birds here let's have a look I think, that, I think the stamps would be a little bit too too big for, for these. So I'll put those in here. That's lovely. New Zealand. Right, these are going to be too, too big. Oh, you know, because I've been sorting all through those, like my fingers have gone <coughs> um, a bit funny. Can't really feel them. So they're all biggish ones. I pop those in there. Oh yes, I have got something coming today. That was my notification I don't know if to put something like that let's see what we've got in here so I think after I finish filming I'm gonna sort this <coughs> bird the now I've got two into big elements and small elements I think that would be a good idea because you get these things out don't you and then it's like oh half of them are too small uh, too big so they're all big things pop those over there they're big okay let's, let's have a look so we've got stamps stamps circle Quite fancy in a little circle. That's a bird. They're too big. So another circle. I wonder what that stamp would be like. That's quite nice. Well, it's nice. It's not quite nice. It is nice. <laughs> it's definitely nice. That's too big. Even though they're small elements, still too big. I've got a tiny bird there. So I'm going to start putting the small things um, in here. I just hope that then I don't end up squashing um, the dies. So that's small. I'm going to keep that out and that out. They're big. See, I mean, it's funny when you start sorting things out into size. It's like, is that small or is that big? Because it's too big for that. Um, you know. So it's like, where's your cutoff between small and small and big? You have to draw the line, don't you? Somewhere you just have to draw it.
I mean, really, you could do with tiny, small, regular, <laughs> and large. I'm not going to get keep any more of those, though, because I've obviously got enough of those. Uh. I'll say that's. I'll say that's big. Thing probably got <coughs> got enough out now. Keep that out. Just pick these up. I'm not going to empty any more out. Hooray! Right. But if I don't do these things when I think about it, um, <coughs> it's one of those jobs. What? Yeah, you never get it done, do you? Right. Let's have a look. That's too big. Okay, so let's do one one at a time, one at a time. So I'm quite liking that um, as a kind of, you know, to to flip it, flip it up. So I think that's all I'm going to put on it. Yeah, that's cute. I need to put it on a little bit more. Yeah. Just gonna ink around a bit more. So yeah, that's that one. What else have we got? <coughs> oh god, this is nice. Can't see it. Oh, can see it there. I don't know, I'm liking having something on there. I'm just going to take that little knobble off because these was like one of those where you <coughs> press everything uh, out. It's like a pre-cut. These things are from um, a paper pad called Nature's Gallery. That's lovely. So that's that one. So yeah, I think that's what, what I'm going to go with. Oh my goodness, so small, I can't even pick them up. No, I don't think they're right. So I'm going to choose that one. Put those away. One. Yeah, and that one. So yeah, all that. Um, what do you call it? But I sorted me things out, which will make it easier when we do start on bird projects because I'll be like, I'm organised. So I'm gonna pop those into there. things in there so that's that super thank you for sitting with me while I tidy up right so ink around this these are from um, a little set from a studio on Gore and there was a set with all different size circles. I think this is a one inch uh, circle. Let's make sure I've got no. That's better. See, so that's that one. Oops, that little birdie here. Right, let's just cut around this a little bit better and ink over this and this is a stamp from um Artie May's <laughs> beautiful birds it's um a lovely kit that is and it's got lots of small um elements on it which is great 
Um, I love small elements because they're just so handy, especially when you're doing, you know, clusters and snippets and things. So that is, is that. So we've got four little bird ones, which is going to go <coughs> with my bird things. And I'm going to put these in for um, patron happy mail. So that's those. And pop those up there so thank you very much <coughs> for joining me and i will see you in the next video bye for now